You have a president that has no shame, comes out publicly and says that this thing has not been approved. Mr. President, if you have things in your budget that has not been approved, then what it means is that it is in there for people to slice on money. That is what it means. If you have stuff in your budget and you claim that it has not been approved, it has no basis in your budget. As long as it is in, what it means is that it's been endorsed by the government and it is meant for implementation. Isn't that, oh, isn't that taking the matter too far, to say that because it was in a budget and the president is now saying that it was not approved by cabinet, then it was in there for people to use it to siphon money? Yep. Senna, why would things that have not been approved be in the budget? What's the purpose then? If, it is, if, if people have sat down, typed, glanced through, seen the wisdom in it and placed it in the budget, what does that mean? Then I don't want to tell us that the government is not serious, they don't know what they're about, or somebody is not being sincere. You've trained teachers on this. You've used the taxpayers' money to train teachers on something that has not been approved. And you want to tell us that this is what competency? Or you want to tell us that this is something that we have to take you seriously? So clearly, Senator, the issue isn't about, you know, the president have spoken. The issue is about the intention of the government and why all of a sudden they have to put sexual preference of children as a key priority for children to learn. Hmm. If I were the president, or if I'm sitting next to the president, I would ask the president one question. Mr. President, should your grandchild come back from school and you ask him or her, what do you learn today? And he says that I was taught this sexual whatever that is, how would he feel? And if he says that he has an exam tomorrow, how would you teach that child? On what? Well, Upon all the key issues. The, the issue of what? sexual preference has been denied by the government over and over again. They say they are not on any such agenda. Now, actually, what the CSE was intended to do was to actually teach children about, uh, give them a form of sex education that was comprehensive because of the going rate of teenage pregnancy the, the fact that a lot of children actually are not even taking measures to ensure uh, that they do not contract deadly diseases like uh, HIV and AIDS. You are saying that is not good, in, good enough a reason to introduce a program that's comprehensive enough to deal with the issues that ensure that our children live the life that they're supposed to live? Yeah, this is, excuse my friends, but this is really, you know, come, let's put this on our side. Who said teenage pregnancy is as a result of the fact that the kid, uh, uh, people are ignorant of their sexual preference? Who said that is the cause of uh, uh, teenage pregnancy? Who said AIDS is as a result of the fact that people don't know their sexual preference? We, let's not act as if we are, you know, we don't know our left from right or we are ignorant, and therefore you would want to find a way to, you know, justify this unnecessary topic that you brought in, and all of a sudden. You know, you've received, you've received all this backlash. You have stated in the guidelines so that children, it says what? I don't have the guidelines with me, but it talks about for them to be able to enjoy themselves, enjoy themselves, and to accept who they are in terms of the gender uh, 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 position. So if a guy and a guy, you know, wants to uh, uh, be together, Let's accept them. It is okay. Go ahead and do it. What you're trying to do is that you are indoctrinating people. You are indoctrinating people as kids for them to accept that these things are right. Even though it is not in their mind yet, even though it is not something they are thinking about, they don't even know what it is, you are putting it in their head from day one so that they will go to also think that this is right and let us do it. But the consequences of this thing, Senna, the consequences, the sickness is that it comes with some of these things. You, we as a country in Ghana, we don't even have the resources. We don't even have the medicines. We don't have the human resources to handle the spillover. But yet, we copy blindly, and you want to come and dump these things on, on Ghanaians. What's the moral justification for this? This is un-Ghanian. This is irresponsible and has no place whatsoever. 
promises were made to the people of Ghana in terms of job creation, in terms of education, in terms of health. Okay, and Ghanaians expect the government to be able to deliver on its promises. The insecurity currently in Ghana is what the president needs to worry himself about, is what we need him to speak on. The missing girls, we've not heard him speak on it. Swales, they did not hear him speak on it. Okay? And then you have this sexual preference thing. As a result of a black class, you come and you want to claim, or oh, you know, saying that it hasn't been approved. If it hasn't been approved, then ask your minister, first of all, how this document ended up in the budget, and why is the minister at post? Why is the minister still at post? Is the president or the cabinet hasn't approved this? Which, which of the ministers you are talking about? Because it, it falls under the and education minister, but the finance minister also read it. But you see, put this in verse uh, 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 context. Every ministry department, they present their budget to uh, uh, the finance minister. The finance minister's own is just to scrutinize it and then, you know, go ahead and see, well, whether, you know, the government can uh, afford this or cannot afford it. So the finance minister is not in the position to determine what comes in and what goes in terms of the ingredients of the ministry. It is the education minister that has to be held responsible. Why something that has been, the president claim, of which I don't believe, that it has not been approved, finds itself in there, and money has been allocated for it. If it has not been approved, what's the point in spending money in training and making provisions for to end up in somebody's pocket? Clearly, that's not the case. It is because it has been approved. That is why it finds the, the thing finds itself in the budget. 